Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today I am so excited. I'm gonna be taking you guys to the gym that I work out in and sharing with you a 30 minute full body workout with my trainer, Terrence. I recently started working out with Terrence and you guys, uh, I asked you guys on Instagram a few weeks ago if you wanted to see a workout and you did, so here we are. Let's go. All right, so this is the gym that I work out in. I want to introduce you guys to my friend and trainer, Terrence, and my workout partner, Andra. So Terrence, will you tell us a little bit about what we're gonna be doing today? All right, so usually we'll jump on the Stairmaster. We'll do about 10 to 15 minute warm up and then kind of go through about a 30 minute workout after that. Okay. We're gonna be doing a full body, right? Full body, yeah. So definitely full body with an emphasis on glutes and core. That's kind of what we usually do. That's what I always try to focus on, so. Yeah, I love, um, I've, I've told you this before, but I feel like when I started working out with you, I found like, it's just really uh, fun and you keep the workouts really interesting. And I feel like I get cardio while I'm also getting strength training, so. Yeah, you just gotta keep moving the whole time. Yeah keep moving for the entire time we're here and you guys somehow manage to keep talking at the same time. <laughs> but That's impressive. Pretty good. You need somehow. a good workout buddy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. Cool. Okay. So the first exercise we're going to do a pyramid set of a swing and press and a pyramid set is just basically going up in weight and then coming back down. We're going to do five reps of each of these little weights we have here. Well, big weights actually, but uh, swing and press is just going to be hinging of your hips and then pressing at the top. So we're going to bring the weight up to your shoulders press up, and then the hip hinge is basically the same movement that you would do for a deadlift or a kettlebell swing, and you want to keep a real flat back, like that movement there, and then with the swing, you just bring it up, press it up. All right, so go ahead and do the pyramid set. We're going to get five reps of each of these weights here. Okay, so after in the pyramid set, after we've made our way up to the highest weight we can handle, then we're gonna work our way back down. So it's just five reps of the eights, five reps of the tens, five reps of the twelves, and then we'll make our way back down, five reps of the tens, five reps of the eights. And that's what a pyramid set's like. All right, so the next exercise we're gonna switch to is a walking lunge with curls. So you're gonna go lunge, and at the top we'll curl, lunge, top, and curl. And just keep that moving. Go ahead and go for it. So it is the same thing going back across the room. There should be about 30 lunges throughout that set. So, okay, after the 30 reps with the lunges and curling, we're gonna do um, walking lunges with the lateral raise at the top. So go ahead and go for it, down across the room and come back. Straight into the next one, the walking lunges again, so it'd be kind of a third set of lunges, but this time we'll do a press. So we did that swing and press earlier. This time we're gonna keep your shoulders up here, or keep the weight up here by your shoulders, excuse me. And then just press at the top of the lunge. So we're gonna do side lunges next. That'll be 10 side lunges with a front raise like this. And then we'll do 10 side lunges just hanging on to the weight like this. So at first, 10 with that front raise, 10 hanging on, and then 10 the other way. All right, let's see if we can do it. <laughs> okay. Go. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, for the next exercise, we're gonna do caterpillar push-ups. You're just gonna walk out into a push-up, really kind of engaging your shoulders, and then walk back up and stand back up. So you get a little good stretch after we've done all those lunges. It's good to kind of give your, your legs and butt a little bit of a rest. But <laughs> let's go ahead and hit the shoulders now. And then engage your chest down there in that push-up. And standing back up is really good just because we're getting a little bit more bending. That's one of our key components, key things we need to practice and get good at just so you're a little bit better. Yeah. And so I, I usually try to work that in whenever you guys are sore or if we just did a lot of squats or lunges. Okay. Cool. <laughs> good job. Oh my God. <laughs> Always got to get a high five in. All right, for the next exercise, we're just going to do a split stance like this, leaning forward, and we're going to go ahead and pull those dumbbells back towards your hips. So it's just a little split stance row. And we'll get about 10 reps per leg, 20 total rows, 10 per leg. And adding the split stance in just kind of is a good way to engage your legs, engage your glutes, and get a little bit of extra calorie burn whenever we're working more muscles, working more joints. Okay, with this exercise, we're just going laterally back and forth, rolling the ball. You can use these medicine balls, you can use a basketball, anything that you have that can roll around be good to do. It's kind of a good partner exercise. You can do it with your kids, you can do it with your friend. <laughs> but it's also really important to get some lateral movements into your workouts just because it's a really common way for people to get injured in everyday life. So you want to train it so that you're a little bit more functionally sound. Good. Yep. All right, so we got five different kicks. We're going to start out with the straight leg kickback right now. And we'll do about 20 reps of each one of these. This is a good exercise you can either put at the end to kind of cool down, or you can put it at the beginning as more of a glute activation before we start doing all of our fancy things. But either way, it's a good one to get in for the... Yeah, so the donkey kick is a little bit different since you're bending your knee. So it makes the, the contraction through your hip slightly different. But the Engagement is still on the glute minimus and media, so we're really just trying to work on your hips and that glute minimus and media. So without kind of working these into your routine, if you could eventually have a little bit of hip pain, and you could also probably have just a slightly overdeveloped glute max in comparison to your minimus and medius. Next exercise is the fire hydrants. You're going to keep through that 90 degree bend in your knees through the whole time, and just opening up your hip to the side. Again, glute minimus and medius, just a little bit different angle, obviously, since we're going to the side this time. Really, working out is just about angles, contracting your muscles through different angles, and working through all of your joints. All right, next exercise is the lateral kick. We're going to get 20 reps of this, like it's 1985. But this one is just another, again, a good way to hit your hips, glute minimus and medius. All right, you guys. Well, that is a pretty typical workout with Terrence. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I will have all the exercises and reps and all that info listed in the description box below. I'll also have Terrence's Instagram if you want to follow him. And my friend Andrew, because she's a pretty awesome lady. So check her out. Um, all right, I think that's it. We just have to high five. High five. Good job, y'all. Good job. <laughs>